So before we proceed to the dynamics of links and the connections at joints, uh, it would be good if we can formulate the dynamics graphically and understand this formulation uh, through bond graph, which is a very convenient graphical approach. So we will uh, review some of the conventions for scalar and multi bonds. You already are familiar with scalar bonds, something which you have already studied in your course on mechatronics and also on system dynamics and control. Uh, the scalar bond, uh, it's, re it's represented by this half uh, arrow or the harpoon arrow and carries information of two signals. One is the effort and the other is flow. And the power which is a product of this effort and flow is represented like this. Uh, if we have a set of such scalar bonds, say E1, uh, say bond 1, bond 2 and so on up to bond n. So we have n bonds in a particular order like this. We can represent it using a multi bond, a, a multi bond of cardinality n. So there will be an effort vector. Uh, which is composed of the uh, component uh, efforts in this particular order E1, E2 up to En and a flow vector which is composed of the elements flow 1, flow 2, flow n in the same order. Now the power is a scalar and it is the summation of all these individual powers. So you have E1 F1 plus E2 F2 plus and so on up to En Fn. We can represent this as the summation of Ei Fi i equal to 1 to n. And in matrix form it can be represented as E transpose F as equal to F transpose E. Now let us try to understand the convention for a transformer which is quite frequently used in modeling of multi-body systems. For a scalar bond transformer, uh, we have the transformer like this. You have let's say power being brought in to bond 1 and sent out to bond 2. We have the effort 1 flow 1, effort 2 flow 2. And let's say we have the modulus mu here. The relationship between the flows will be flow 2 is equal to mu times flow 1 given by this equation here. And because the transformer is a power conserving transformer, uh, the in incoming power that is E1 F1 will be equal to E2 F2. We make use of this relationship, we substitute it here and we get E2 equal to mu F1. We can rearrange this slightly. When we compare the left hand side and the right hand side, if this relationship is to be true always irrespective of the value of F1, then it's necessary that E1 equal to mu times E2. So this relationship between the efforts has emerged out automatically because of the power conserving nature of the transformer. You can see flow 2 is equal to mu times flow 1. This is what we started with and we arrived at E1 equal to mu times E2. For the multi bond, we consider uh, the in coming bond to the transformer and uh, this multi bond has cardinality n. We have the effort one vector and flow one vector. 
we have the transformer and the power leaving the transformer. So here we have uh, M bonds with effort 2 vector and a flow 2 vector. Now the modulus of this transformer, let's assume it to be A, the matrix A, uh, and we define the relationship once again, the flow relationship. So the flow 2 vector is equal to A operating on the flow 1 vector. Uh, naturally, A is an element of R m by n. So it's an m by n matrix. A power conserving transformer. So the transformer is a power conserving element and so uh, E1 transpose F1 will be equal to E2 transpose F2 vector. We can substitute this F2 is equal to A F1 here and make some rearrangement of this. Now, when we compare the left hand side and the right hand side once again, we see that uh, flow 1 for any value of flow 1, if this relationship is to hold, it is necessary that E1 transpose should be equal to E2 transpose A. We take transpose once again on both sides and we arrive at the relationship E1 is equal to A transpose E2 transpose. So, we started with the flow relationship and we arrived at the effort relationship automatically because of the power conserving nature of the transformer. The only point you should note here is that while the flow relationship was given as flow 2 is equal to A operating on flow 1, the effort relationship is given as effort 1 is equal to A transpose operating on A2. Note the transpose here. 